Okay, let's try adding and subtracting this time. Drinking the smart water. Gonna keep us smart. Okay, let's start off like this. If the radicals are the same, well, that's easy. That's like having 5x plus 6x. I just add up my x's, I get 11x. No problem. Same thing here. 5 radical 2 plus 6 radical 2. 11 radical 2. Can't break down a 2, so I'm done. Uh-oh. Over here, I could break some things down. So let's take a look at this one. I'll pull out my trusty calculator. Hey, what's up? Okay. 9 is the coefficient. He's just the next-door neighbor friend. Now let's break down 48. I'm pretty sure that 16 goes into 48. Let's try it out. It does. So 16 times 3 is 48. Minus 10. 108. Hmm. Let's try 108 divided by 36. Oh, and again, it does. 36 times 3. I always work slow. I don't like to bring them out right away. I want to make sure that I'm right and I can check my work back again. So I don't pull them out right away. I'm going to pull them out here now in the next step. I have 9 times 4 times radical 3 minus 10 times 6 times radical 3. So 36 radical 3 minus 60 radical 3. And 36 minus 60, make sure I'm sure. Negative 24 radical 3. That's my answer. It's okay to have a negative coefficient, so long as the negative doesn't wind up inside, because then I wind up with a set of imaginary numbers. Okay, let's try something with some variables in it. Okay. Well, I can't combine them, so let's try breaking them down. I'm going to break down the 8 first. 4 times 2. M is odd. We're taking this really slow. We'll leave M inside. N squared. I think for this one, I'm going to just break him down like this and leave him as N squared, and I'll pull him out when I pull out the 4. Plus 2N, coming down, coefficient. Breaking down the 18. 18 breaks down to 9 times 2. And radical M is still inside. Let's leave him be for a minute. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's go back to this side and pull out everything that's perfect. Radical 4 is perfect. He's 2. Not perfect, not perfect. Oh, he's perfect. Square root of N squared is N. So I round it with 2N, and everything that's not perfect is going to go back into the radical sign. Plus. Okay. This side is a little bit more complicated because of the coefficient. 2n square root of 9 is 3. 2m is inside. Now we're almost done, but since we have a 2 and a 3, we can multiply these together. We can't add them together, but we can multiply. So 2n times 3 is 6n radical 2m. Oh, that's great. 2m is inside both. That makes me happy. 8n radical 2m. Done. Okay, why don't you try one by yourself now for practice and study time. You try this one. Then pause the video and I'm going to go over your answer. Okay, let's see what you got. Hmm. Negative 2. Hmm. Can't do anything to him. Bring him down. 6. Guess I'll have to leave. 6. Nobody perfect goes into 6. Now, y cubed I could break down, like I showed you before, y squared to y. Okay. Minus. Radical 54 breaks down. 
to radical 9 times radical 6. 9 is perfect, so he's good. y cubed is y squared times y. Okay, I'll see what we have. I work slow. I bring everything down like this even when I do it myself so that I don't get confused and I don't make any silly errors. Now let's pull out the perfect things. Negative 2 is hanging out. y squared is y. 6y is inside. Minus. 3 is perfect. y squared is perfect. I'm left with 6y. Oh, yippee. They are the same inside again. It doesn't always happen, but luckily for us it does. Negative 2 minus 3, same, opposite, opposite, in case you forget so. Negative 5y, radical 6y, and hopefully you got that right.